let's talk how function of our digestive tract is controlled by means of sympathetic and parasympathetic system. Also, I want you to understand that within the digestive tract, we have a numerous uh, feedback that will help to control production of different digestive juices. So the meaning of sympathetic system or effect of sympathetic system on digestive tract is inhibit of production saliva, inhibit digestive activities. Parasympathetic system does up, uh, um, opposite, stimulates the salivation, stimulate digestive activity, stimulates um, a gallbladder activity. In other words, parasympathetic system is rest and digest exactly what you want, because the purpose of digestive system is to digest and eventually absorb the food that you eat. In the nutshell, parasympathetic system is production of saliva, increased peristaltis, production of hydrochloric acid, mucus, bile, and digestive enzymes. Sympathetic system, inhibition of everything. Now, there is a great effect on our digestive tract through the brain. When you look at food, smell, taste, you send a signal from the central nervous system into digestive tract, into local, nervous systems, they will communicate and they will tell for the muscles of digestive tract start to contract so the food can move from top to bottom. Also, the, uh, some other glands will start to produce digestive juices. A result, those digestive juices will be released into digestive tract, will start breaking down the food and at the same time send the signal back through chemo, osma, and mechano receptors and will suppress production of um, the juices if it's appropriate and also send the signal to central nervous system. Food is here, so we do, maybe we don't need more production of hydrochloric acid. Oh, this is this just a slide that I have my acid reflex course, course and it's available and you can contact me through um, my, my website. Here, I already pre-draw the picture of the digestive tract for us. As always, we have digestive tract with the mouse, food will go here, and we have a brain here. The sympathetic system runs from the brain along the digestive tract and send the signal, stop to produce digestive juices and stop moving. Parasympathetic system, will, I will draw it uh, blue, will run also parallel of digestive tract and send the signal, start to produce, start to produce saliva, start to produce hydrochloric acid, start to produce pancreatic enzymes, and uh, start to move the food from top to bottom. So when the food arrives into the digestive tract, you will activate the sympathetic system and the food will be broken down in the mouth into smallest particles. They, they will arrive here and you will start to produce uh, hydrochloric acid, HCl, and mucus. Also, at the same time, stomach will produce enzyme that call stomach gastrin. I will write it, stomach gastrin. That stomach gastrin will exhibit its effect on the cells that are responsible for production of hydrochloric acid and the mucus, and you will produce more. And you will produce more. So as food stays here in the stomach, you will produce more hydrochloric acid to break protein into individual amino acids. Once when the food is broken, a right environment created here in the stomach by hydrochloric acid, what I mean is pH. pH about two is created. Then this pH will open the valve pillarus and the food, pre-digested food, will start to move here into small intestine and under effect of pancreatic gland, P, pancreatic gland, and the liver, liver, will produce mobile here and will continue breaking down into smaller particles. Smaller particles such as amino acids, pieces of fat and sugar will be absorbed through the digestive tract into the bloodstream. Let's draw the bloodstream red. 
it is your bloodstream and the food is floating here in the bloodstream and get delivered with the bloodstream into the brain. Brain detects there is a lot of food here. The more you eat, the more amino acid, amino uh, acids, fat and sugar floating here. That's a signal for the brain. Time to activate sympathetic system and deactivate parasympathetic. So you want to deactivate parasympathetic system. You won't stop to produce hydrochloric acid. You don't need it because you already, and then by the way, a lot of sugar and fat here in the bloodstream will send the signal. Okay, I am full and I don't want this food. So as a result, you say, nope, I don't want this food. I am not going to eat it. So you stop eating. And at the same time, the signal is deactivate parasympathetic system, stop producing hydrochloric acid. So you stop produce. Also, as more food arrives here into small intestine, you stop to start to produce um, uh, enzymes called small intestine. I will just write small intestine, gastrin. gastrin and this small intestine gastrin will affect the production of gastrin negatively means that will suppress production of hydrochloric acid so you will stop producing hydrochloric acid and you will be decrease decrease production of mucus so moving food from the stomach into the small intestine means that you will produce pancreatic enzymes you will produce will liver juices, but at the same time, you will stop producing hydrochloric acid. I hope guys, I made it for you very clear that watching this video, you understand, you just cannot swallow food big piece without the preparation. You cannot not to chew the food. Boy, I get excited. I should not be. Um, so, in any words, I want you to understand the physiology behind all of that. So, the raw mechanisms and those mechanisms are very precise. If you break the mechanism, if you decided or doctor prescribed you, and we doctors do it all the time, we just give patients PPIs without control. So, we, we decrease production of hydrochloric acid and then we wonder why patients don't get better. Why they don't digest food? Why the, the food is not digested, it's not absorbed, why patients become sick when they're taking PPIs. Now you understand why. So I want you to understand, you cannot do something against the physiology. You have to respect the physiology. Before you take any drugs, you have to learn, you have to learn about the digestive tract. Okay, guys, like, subscribe, and if you need a health coach or speaking engagements, contact me here on my website. Otherwise, bye-bye.